Morning legends, it is Monday morning. I'm down here at Richardson Park, quarter past six. I'm gonna get into an early morning session with young Shrias. Uh, looks like it could rain this morning, but hopefully we'll be all right. Just finished a great session. Um, I said to Shrias that it's really admirable for an 11 year old, um, he turned 11 last week, to be up early before school and doing his work um, I was listening to a great podcast yesterday with an AFL footballer named Chris Judd, very famous here in Australia, elite footballer. And he was talking about how he used to make lots of sacrifices. He used to do everything he could to make himself ready and make himself the best. And when he lined up on the weekend against an opponent, he felt like there's no way this guy next to me could have done as much work and, and made as much sacrifice as I did. And he said that gave him incredible confidence to, to dominate that game and he ended up winning um, the Brownlow medal and he was one of the best players in the competition for many, many years and it was because of his work ethic and his sacrifice and I said to Shreyas, it's great that he's here at six o'clock in the morning doing the work, putting in the work and sacrificing sleep, um, which is very important to kids and to anyone really, but he's willing to put in the extra work to give him an advantage and make him improve and hopefully be the best um, he can be. Just got off a great call with Bucky Rogers, um, obviously an absolute guru, um, batter, cricketer, um, but also now he's turning into a great batting coach. He was a great technician of the game. Um, he was raised by his father, John, um, who was also a very good cricketer, and they, they both understand the game incredibly well. And, and Buck's now transitioning into coaching. He was away with the Australian of the 19s, and we've just had a fascinating chat about technique and about methods. Um, the main thing there was about how a lot of players these days are standing up, um, standing up very tall and are very front on, and then they don't engage their front side. They sort of, their front shoulder and front side goes away, and then they end up pushing at the ball with their bottom hand and, and losing power and losing control. And he said how, you watch Virat Kohli, and he was using Virat as an example. Virat, almost every ball lines his chin and his shoulder up, and you can see him sort of doing a bit of a twitch or something, getting that into position. And then he's a beautiful driver of the ball. And that's something that I, I talk about with my players is trying to engage that front shoulder, trying to use that front side to hit the ball. And Buck used the example of a tennis player. It's like a, a tennis player trying to hit a two-handed backhand. You, they've got to use that front side. They've got to turn that shoulder to get power. You want to get both sides working not just the, the back side. You want to engage this front side. Batting is about hit, staying in straight lines and you want your straight lines going to where the ball's going or where you want the ball going. So if you want to hit it down the ground, you've got to get your straight line going down the ground. If this comes off towards mid wicket or mid on, your straight line starts going that way and you have to end up bringing that bottom hand in. You often end up slicing it going in and out. So really important for those of you watching for you batters, engage that front side. That's high level stuff. Um, it's basic, absolutely basic, but this is what um, Buck, who's gonna be moving into some, some higher level coaching um, here in Australia and over in England, that's what he's gonna be working with with professional cricketers. So really use that front side as much as you can. I'm just here uh, going through my Monday motivation email. If you aren't on our email list, you're missing out. This is a great resource um, where I share uh, my favorite article of the week, favorite video of the week, um, all the links to our videos, and um, also a coaching tip, which today is about creating a morning routine. And then a quote that's motivating me and a little bit about what's happening here at Cricket Mentoring. So it's a, uh, it's a inspiring um, and resource for you guys um, so that you can learn and better yourselves and better your cricket. Hey vlog, just heading out to a, another social media consultancy meeting with Alex, who I saw last Monday. Going to try and make it a weekly thing. He's trying to grow his wife's business, um, a real estate recruitment company. They're trying to get a bigger and better digital um, and online presence. So I'm helping him with that. Something I'm going to go more and more into is helping small businesses and individuals um, improve and increase their influence online. So. Um, gain a greater presence and, and potentially get new customers and so forth through their online presence. So looking forward to meeting him now. Hey vlog, it is 2pm and it is time to eat. I've just finished having a coffee, 
Haven't had anything to eat since nine o'clock last night, so my 16 hours was till 1 p.m. today. About to eat for the first time, just gonna have a wrap. Got Reedy here, um, one of our mentors. He came along to the meeting with me today, um, just learning a few things about social media. So he can start doing some stuff for us and implementing some stuff. Now we're just chatting, uh, talking a bit about cricket, coaching, playing the great game, um, and just trying to learn a bit more about the great game. Solid, hitting it late. Brilliant, owning that good length. I want that coming fractionally straighter though. Just open the face a little. Positioning was good though. Ooh, well played, three overs gone. Oh, extra cover. I reckon he's in the game there. Right, you owe me 10 push-ups at the end of the over. Good batting couple there. Oh, that's four, 10 each. Good batting. Nice and decisive with that shot. Halfway. Okay, 10 push-ups each. Let's go. Okay, four overs gone. One wicket, one boundary. Oh, I reckon that's a boundary again. It's bad bowling. Three gone. Oh! Lovely shape, lovely shot. Straight to extra cover though. Ten push-ups for me for the pull shot. Okay, five overs gone, two boundaries, one out. Nice timing. That's a lovely shot. Probably beaten extra cover, I'll give you three. Pulled in just before the boundary. Solid, good, keep owning that good length. Straight down the ground, that was good. Hey vlog, late finish at coaching tonight, finished at 8.45, came home, had a quick meal. Didn't finish eating until quarter past nine, so because of my 16 hours of fasting, means I won't be able to eat until 1.15 p.m. tomorrow, which is quite late, but my body's getting used to it. I'm actually not getting hungry in the mornings, and I'm feeling like I've got a lot of energy. Um, just about to punch out some emails and reply to a few Instagram messages and do a little bit of strategic planning and then off to bed. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. Please give it the thumbs up. Please turn the bell on up in the corner so you get a notification when we post a new video. We're trying to grow our community. Please tell your friends to subscribe. Please share it on your social media. Um, if we're giving you some value, I'd love for you guys to support us in our um, quest to grow our channel. On that note, I'll leave it there. Hope you're all um, having a cracking day wherever you're watching this, whatever time of day it is. And I will see you legends soon.